What up guys, John Combs here, here with my homie Werther. We just got done doing a seminar on the front head box, specifically my guillotine. Just gonna settle up here, show you guys a couple cool techniques that can help you out when you're engaging in jiu-jitsu. So we're gonna start here in butterfly guard. I'm gonna have Werther on both knees in front of me, and I'm gonna have both my hooks in here, okay? So I just wanna make sure before we get going here, there are two things we wanna make sure is happening. First off, I wanna pull my toes up. So like Werther stays down in his posture, I'm pulling my toes up and my knees towards my chest. So I'm gonna make sure I have flexion here in my legs so that I got good bases of support. So that when Werther goes to give my shoulders a little bit of a push, I've got good stability here, okay? So it's important that my legs are in good position. Uh, and the other thing we gotta consider is the angle of my spine. So I see this bad habit all the time. Right here, give me a push. Oh, oh, his head, yeah, yeah, <laughs> he can push my arms, his head. But, but the, the, at the end of the day, the important thing to keep in mind, sure, my legs are strong, but my spine's back. There's no physical structure stopping his forward push. He just takes his hands, he pushes my shoulders. I'm going to go back, okay? So before we do any type of offense, we want to make sure our butt is behind our shoulders. Our shoulders are in front, my legs pull. Now he goes to give me a push. I got good stability here. I got good structure. Try to do that body lock again. My head stays in good position. Elbows in front, okay? So first thing to keep in mind, your butt position, legs, hands in good place. Now, let's look to take this from a situation that's neutral and upgrade it a little bit. So I'm going to take a straight grip. I'm going to smack one of his hands to the center line. Bang, right there, okay? I'm going to use that straight grip to feed a cross grip right here on his wrist. My goal is to have my middle finger and my thumb connect right at where you'd put handcuffs on, okay? Right there. Once I get that, I'll put him back here. So I, I misdirect. I grab, I actively push across my body towards his hip to set up my left hand here. I'm gonna take this middle finger and I'm gonna grab right in here. So I want you guys, when you're watching, go ahead and like feel on your arm here. You're gonna notice we have these knobs here. These are what we're trying to catch. The analogy here is if I had a rope and I was holding it and somebody was pulling the rope away from me, it'd slip out of my hands. And then somebody tied a knot here. That knot would catch and I'd hold onto the rope. Just like here when I hold, Ruther goes to pull away from me with that arm. Oh, uh, just the elbow back? Oh, sorry. The elbow back? Yeah. yeah, right there. So my fingers finding that bone are going to keep me connected. Okay, so hands back set up here. My posture is good. Hands are set. One, two, three, here. So now my, my hand on the elbow pulls it in towards me. My hand on the wrist pushes his wrist in. Now he tries to get this elbow back to his body. It's going to be tough. I've got a big advantage over him here because I've separated this knee to elbow space. So two really solid attacks for us. The more aggressive option is going to be taking this foot out off balancing him in that direction to get his base out of position. And then as he's going to build his base back up, I fall down and my legs shoot over. Okay? And from here, we're in a triangle, so I'll let go of my legs. I'll grab my own shin. I'll underhook this arm. I'll make sure that I'm driving into this. And as I switch my angle, I'll get set here and I'll scoop in on this leg, throw my hips up. And then I want to make sure my knee crack, my knee hollow is right on his knee. I'll lock my legs and then I can finish a nice tight triangle there, okay? So that's our, our more aggressive option from this situation. Uh, the uh, less aggressive option, if we're looking for a sweep, is the same setup. A straight smack, cross grip, elbow in here, and I'm able to pull this arm a good distance. So what I'm gonna do here is I see this huge gap, I'm gonna take my elbow grip, and I'm gonna throw inside and make a fist here. So it's almost like I'm not holding here, I wanna compress my bicep, almost like I'm flexing here. Because what I can't let happen if I'm weak here his elbow is gonna to wanna to move back towards his hip that way, okay? So if I have this weak, limp arm here, he's gonna move his elbow away. So after I bring this arm through, I wanna pull my elbow and pull my body to his arm. Now, if I just stood here, Warther would free himself, but it's gonna take him a few seconds because I'm robust. While that happens, my right hand is gonna reach through and I get a grip on the shoulder right here. Now I pull it in. Now he tries to get that arm out. It's gonna be stinking hard. So now, I, I grip my feet into the floor, I scoop my feet to my butt, and I, I can start taking him over towards the, the arm we have cracked. One, here. Now once I get him over, my left foot goes to the floor, my right foot goes high, and I take him over. And, and the most common situation that we'll end up in here is usually we'll score a truck position right here. We're going to look to flatten him out and uh, take him out, or go here and take his back. Okay? So let's take a look at the sweep again. So it's a straight smack, looking to move it around. Then I get my cross grip, I pull this elbow out of position. I could either go for the triangle, moving this foot out, switching through to there, and trapping up. Or we can start looking for that other attack. As I pull this arm in, my elbows connect. One, 
Two, pulling it in. He tries to get that arm out. It's going to be tough. Feet to our hips. Lift him up. We're going to take him towards the arm we have tracked. As my hips and shoulders go to 90 degrees, my left foot's going to aim for the floor here and help take him over. Okay, and then once again, we want mount here. I have this underhook on this side. But with how our legs landed, it's not going to make sense to stay here and try to go to the mount. We take our left leg, we curl, and lock up this position here. We can hold this much better than we'd be able to hold this position right here. The reason being, if you move the uh, camera over to my, le uh, my left knee over here, Werther has all the time and space in the world to force that knee back into his guard. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But when I go to here, he tries to do the same thing. It's not quite right. My weight's reinforcing my right knee. He can't quite get good purchase to it. As my right hip travels over my right knee, now he goes for it. My knee should not have enough weight. We go back. If my hip's even two inches over this knee, he tries to go for it. It's going to be tough. But right there, that's in, there's not enough weight to hold it. Okay? So just something for you to consider when you do finish this hook sweep. You're going to want to take mount because that's what all of us want to do, right? We want to upgrade and take as high of a pin position as possible. But oftentimes, there's a safer place to settle, hang out, and then advance from there. In this situation, that's going to be the truck position. Okay? So guys, hope you enjoy those techniques from Butterfly Guard. That two-on-one grip is really useful. Uh, probably the biggest thing that changed for me when I've been using it uh, is just the idea that I can't hold here. Look at these lats. Where they're as strong as all ox, okay? If I hold here, he pulls his elbow back to his hips. There's no way I'm going to hold that. What we do is we take this arm and we take it out of position, especially here. Now he tries to pull that elbow back in. Uh -uh. I, I could have almost anybody here in this position. I'll be able to hold them. So don't think about your two-on-one elbow grip as this situation. It's a turn and a push, and then our elbows commit. Now he tries to get out, and this is when we can start potentially looking for different setups, hook sweeps, upgrading to arm drags, taking it in through here. Lots of good things open up because I've taken him out of his offensive posture. He can do a lot of good stuff here. He can't here. So we take him out of his uh, offensive posture, and then from there we can start making things work. So, Werther, hope you enjoyed those. Guys, thank you very much. You can find me uh, on Instagram at, at Combs Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I, I mainly post there. We will be getting a YouTube channel going shortly. I really enjoy these awesome. videos, and I want to do more of them in the future for sure. Uh, but, yeah, really grateful for you, Werther. And uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Press that bell, too. Thank you, guys. Share the video with your friends as well. Make sure you're on the lookout for John Combs' YouTube channel coming soon. He's got awesome knowledge, so be sure to check him out. Thanks a lot, guys.